Well, hopefully everybody can hear me. Um, for those that don't know, my name is Bill Wong and I'm president of the Mercer Science and Engineering Club. And I'd like to welcome you to the 2021 award ceremony for this year's Mercer Science and Engineering Fair. You actually have to look up the actual uh, iteration, uh, but I think we're up to around the 69th iteration for the Mercer Science and Engineering Fair. It's been going on quite a long time. Uh, the Mercer Science and Engineering Club has been running it for about the past 20 years. So with that, let's move on to a couple of quick details. I want to thank everybody, including all of the students, parents, judges, and club members for making this year's fair a success. I think it's been uh, doing very well. We had a lot of participation. Uh, for those people that are going to be receiving awards today, uh, all of those things are going to be mailed or emailed to you, depending upon what they are. Uh, for most of the uh, category awards, they will be including uh, ribbons and a certificate, and those will be mailed to you as well. One thing I wanted to highlight, and hopefully everybody has the link for it, is the open house. And that's going to be next week. This is going to be open to the public, and what we would like uh, to have happen is that those people that receive a first place or a superior award, which is the first place for uh, the junior division, to essentially prepare a short presentation up to five minutes uh, and essentially be able to give that next week at the open house. Uh, this is sort of in lieu of having everybody there uh, because what we're going to do is then essentially have each of those students moved into a breakout room and then all the people that are attending can move from one breakout room to another to ask additional questions of the student about their project. So hopefully you'll join us for that. Uh, if you don't have the links, uh, we can probably drop it in the chat later. In terms of participation, we had uh, six middle schools, uh, 17 applications and 16 finalists uh, within the junior division. We had almost a dozen schools in the senior division, including a home, uh, plus a homeschool uh, student. Uh, we had 46 finalists. We had a lot of people that were trying to get their projects done, but it's been a bit of a challenge. And I'm glad that uh, the 46 that did finish up uh, were able to do so within the time frame we had. Um, so with that, we're going to move on to the actual awards. I'll be going through them very quickly because you can actually read the majority of the information on here. And hopefully I don't uh, mangle the uh, names of everybody, which I'll actually be reading off. Uh, the special awards are uh, primarily for the senior division. Some of them are across the board. For example, there's a photography prize that was for the junior division as well. Uh, but we'll be getting to each one of those. The awards that are associated with these are typically a certificate. Some of them uh, move on to additional competitions and the award winner will be receiving the details for those uh, when we get in contact with them. Let's see. Sorry, I have to keep checking the waiting room and admitting people manually. I should probably give somebody uh, that ability. In any case, to start with, we're going to move into the Theobald Smith Awards. And for honorable mention, Ziki Wang from Robbinsville High School was one of the award winners. And I'm not going to even try to read the title. <laughs> Another um, honorable mention for Theobald Smith was Kavya Vliandriri from Robbins Hill High School for the effects of polyphenols on motor movement improvement in Parkinson's modeled C elegance. First place goes to Aravind Krishnan for a novel assay of quantitatively or to quantitatively detect bacterial endotoxin by harnessing PAMP triggered immunity of FRK1 LUC something else. <laughs> Arvind is with uh, Hillsborough High School. 
The EPA award is given to a Charlotte Michela from Hopewell Valley Central High for innovative climate change emissions reduction. The cargo ship Fletner Rotor Centrifugal Vortex Exhaust Scrubber. The best use of photography. This is open to all students. This one goes to Kevin Murphy for desalinization and purification of water using a solar powered hydrogel multi stage. And I recall this comes with a gift certificate to Camera Photo, who's also the sponsor. From the Office of Naval Research, we have the Naval Science Award. This is for the middle school, Julian Yao, for the effect of silver nanoparticles on the viability of bacteria, fungi, aquatic organisms, and plants. Also in the middle school, Zachary Malice for the effect of balloon type on helium diffusion. Moving into the senior division for the Naval Science Award, Zircon, an affordable, powerful, and customizable educational soccer robot kit for beginners by Soda Mark Ogata from Princeton High School. Also receiving the Naval Science Award, again, Charlotte Michela for her project. She attended Hopewell Valley Central High. We move now into the Air Force Research Laboratory Awards. For the project, Catalytic Ability of Titanium Dioxide Nanoparticles Functionalized on Silver-Coated Ferric Oxide Microspheres. Quin Yang Zhao, who attends the Princeton International School of Mathematics and Science. I just mentioned Mark's project. Uh, he also received the Air Force Research Laboratory Award. And as you can see, these go much faster when we don't have to have people walk up to the awards uh, and receive them. Arvind Krishnan received the laboratory award as well. And for Sweet Mirage, Adam Ben Salama from Princeton High School. Also, Jay Fu for predicting Alzheimer's disease, development and validation of machine learning models. And actually, did I put this one in twice? Ah, I duplicated it. For detection and classification of immature leukocytes for the diagnosis of acute myeloid leukemia, the award goes to Satvik Dasari Rad Chu from Lawrenceville School. Sorry for the mispronunciation. To Lauren Zhang for the shape tunable plasmonic gold nanosensors for quantitative circulating tumor DNA screening from the Lawrenceville School. And you'll notice that each of these are in uh, different categories. This one is in biochemistry, biology, and medical. We do move now to the American Psychological Association's award for outstanding research. This goes to Susanna Tudor for the impact of high school student body diversity on perceptions of racism. And she's from Princeton High School. From the ASM Materials Education Foundation, the outstanding award goes to Echo Crete the search for and study of viable alternatives to highly energy intensive and carbon positive Portland cement by Yuhil Pendral, who I should probably admit and let him take a look at his award because I have not been keeping track of all of the people in the waiting room. For the New Jersey Water Environment Association Prize for catalytic ability 
for titanium dioxide nanoparticles. Uh, Qing Yang Zhao, his category was chemistry and materials. The USAID Science Champion Award goes to Charlotte Michela for the Innovative Climate Change Emissions Reduction Project. The YSE Science Fair Award from the Yale Science and Engineering Association goes to Soda Mark Ogata for his robotics project. The Stockholm Water Prize uh, from the Stockholm International Water Institute goes to uh, Kevin Murphy for the desalinization and purification of water using a solar powered hydrogel multi-stage. See another person in the waiting room. The Earl S. Rommel Communications Award is given by the Mercer Science and Engineering Club. For those who have been around the fair for a very long time, uh, Earl Rommel was uh, in charge of communications at Ryder University, was instrumental in getting Ryder University to host the engineering fair at Ryder. That's where we typically have it when we have it in person. Hopefully next year, we will be returning to that. Uh, unfortunately, Earl passed away. So we put together this award to honor the project that best presents the project from a communications point of view. Helen He receives this award and it's for a novel method of disinfection and sterilization of air and objects using electrified mists category was biochemistry, biology, and medical. And she attends the Princeton International School of Mathematics and Science. Now we're going to be moving into the category awards. These are the awards that are given by the Mercer Science and Engineering Club. And essentially, you can only receive uh, one of these awards per project. They are grouped and we are presenting them in, in this order, essentially honorable mention for both junior and senior division categories. Third place and meritorious achievement, which are essentially the equivalents for the senior and junior division. Likewise, second and outstanding, again, for the senior and junior, and then first place and superior achievement. We'll be wrapping up with the first runner up, second runner up and grand prize winner. These are specifically in the senior division the grand prize winner and the first runner up, actually I should have reordered that in the opposite direction, will be attending the International Science and Engineering Fair. The Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair is held every May. It's going to be virtual again this year. Uh, the awards there are significantly uh, greater than what we actually provide, including monetary values. I think the uh, Oh, what was it? I think the uh, grand prize winner there gets something like uh, $60,000, including scholarships. Uh, so that's significantly more than we offer here. Usually the grand prize and first runner up would also receive a free trip to ISEF, but obviously given that it's virtual, that's not going to be happening this year. So let's get started. We'll start with honorable mention. For the effect of material of physical obstruction and distance on the strength and speed of a signal for Wi-Fi in the junior division category, general science, Joyce Zai from St. Anne School. Congratulations. Also honorable mention, junior division from the Chapin School, the effect of magnets on seed growth, Zaya Sangha. Also in the junior division, for the effect of wrapping on the amount of mold, Genevieve Gambone from the Chapin School. We're now moving into the senior division. Uh, and each one of these is going to be, again, category specific. In this case, behavioral and social sciences. It goes to the relationship between media bias and political views of US adults 
going to go to Shoshana Henderson of Princeton High School. For sleep deprivation in high schools around the world in the category of behavioral science, from Princeton High School, Violet Toro. In the category of mathematics, physics, and astronomy, the influence of self-interacting dark matter on galactic formation, and the last parsec problem. Jiho Yu from the Princeton International School of Mathematics and Science. And, oh, okay, get this one correct. For star galaxy quasar and star spectral types classification with broadband and photometry in the category of mathematics, physics, and astronomy, Zihing Wang from the Princeton International School of Mathematics and Science. In the category of software and embedded systems, comparing Grover's quantum search algorithm with a classical search algorithm on solving satisfiability problem, Run Quen Wang from the Princeton International School of Mathematics and Science. The category of software and embedded systems from Blair Academy, John Su Wang, an efficient algorithm to generate grids using a modified transformation method. For mitigating effects of natural disasters on economy in the category of environmental science and engineering, Abhivna Mukherjee from West Windsor Plainsboro High North. For modeling, visualing, modeling and visualizing the SARS COVID-2 mutation based on geographical regions and time in the category of biochemistry, biology, and medical. Bowman Wei from the Princeton International School of Mathematics and Science. In the category of biochemistry, biology, and medical, a novel reconstruction and expression of endostatin and PDC316 plasmid eukaryotic cells. Ziki Wang category is biochemistry, biology, and medical. And they are from the Princeton International School of Mathematics and Science. In biochemistry, biology, and medical, modified edit distance on global SARS COVID-2 analysis. Jenny Fang from the Princeton Day School. We'll now move on to meritorious achievement for the junior division. For the effect of liquid preservatives on strawberry decay, Lucy Melikor from Chapin School. Junior division has only one category, general science. Tends to make it easier on judges and for students as well. Also receiving a meritorious achievement award for the effect of different settings on a PC on the amount of energy in watts used while running, rendering and FPS tests, Jameson Torme from St. Anne's School. Third place awards for the senior division. In the category of chemistry and materials, quantify the factor importance and the effect of mask policy on COVID-19 spread in the United States with machine learning. Eddie Chen from West Windsor, Plainsboro, North, High North. In the category of chemistry and materials, development of an immunosensor of aflatoxin B1 based on silica coated gold nanoparticles. William Wu from the Princeton International School of Mathematics and Science. In the category of energy, study of the organic nanoparticles for sustainable energy using computational simulations it goes to Daniel Sung of the Petty School. 
for the category of chemistry and materials, force analysis of car crash and potential improvements, Yi Yang from the Petty School. Localization of natural disaster survivors through drone-based sound source location. In the category of general engineering, Ian Lee from the Lawrenceville School. If you may recognize this, uh, Yunzi Lee also worked on the project force analysis of car crash and potential improvements. He also attends the Petty School. In the category of software and embedded systems, designing and evaluating the use of machine learning models and nearest neighbor algorithms to identify colors for people who have difficulty identifying them. Lucas Zapata Sanin from Hopewell Valley Central High. For environmental science and engineering, desalinization and purification of water using a solar powered hydrogel multi-stage. Kevin Murphy, who's a homeschool student in Mercer County. For the category of biochemistry, biology and medical, the systematic analysis of genetic variation of Duchenne muscular dystrophy and implication for cancer, Hubert Chen from West Windsor, Plainsboro, High South. Also in the category of biochemistry and biology and medical, customized cancer therapy based on the dynamic analysis of tumor immune drug system interaction. Xin Chen, Princeton High School. Move now to the Outstanding Achievement Awards for the Junior Division. This goes to William Black for Electrify Your Electrolytes, the effects of drinks have on your electrolytes from St. Anne's School. Also for Outstanding Achievement, the effect of different cleaning products on stain removal goes to Lily Ohm from St. Anne's School. Now for the second place awards for the senior division. In the category of behavior and social science, the impact of high school student body diversity on perceptions of racism from Susanna Tudor of Princeton High School. For chemistry and materials from Trenton Central High School, Mohil Fendral for the project Echocrete, the search for and the study of a viable alternative for highly energy intensive and carbon positive Portland cement. For the project Neural Networks and Gluso Prediction in the category of general engineering, Ming Ho, Anna Zhang from the Pennington School. For the project Eject Crash or Survive using machine learning to predict orbital instability of exoplanetary systems, in the category of mathematics, physics, and astronomy, Niha Aya Lapu from West Windsor, Plainsboro, High South. In the category of software and embedded systems, automatic deep learning classification models for breast lesions by Serena Hassan from the Princeton Day School. For second place in environmental science and engineering, for the project Metal Dope Zinc Oxide Nanochip for surface enhanced Raman spectroscopic sensing of opioids in liquids goes to Michael Zhang of the Lawrenceville School. For second place in environmental science and engineering, modeling COVID-19 transmission in aircraft cabin by integrating particle dynamics, dilution effect, and risk assessment by Xin Kai Yu of the Princeton International School of Mathematics and Science. In the category of biochemistry, biology, and medical, pneumoshot or pneumostack, a novel approach to pneumonia and COVID-19 diagnosis 
with automated chest X-ray analysis via stacked generalization and convolutional neural networks by Sonia Jin of the Stewart County Day School. Also second place in biochemistry, biology and medical, a novel method of disinfection and sterilization of air and objects using electrified mist by Helen He of the Princeton International School of Mathematics and Science. Now to superior achievement in the junior division. The two winners in this uh, level also received the Broadcom Master's Award. This is a follow on competition that is also associated with the Society for Science and the Public. And we have had a number of winners make it to the top 30 finalists in this competition, who also can win some uh, very large awards. Uh, so these students need to also submit their projects to that competition, and we'll be providing those details as well. The first award winner is Julian Yao for the effect of silver nanoparticles on the viability of bacteria, fungi, aquatic organisms, and plants in the category of general engineering and they are from St. Anne's School. The other winner is Zachary Amalis for the effect of a balloon type on helium diffusion from Chapin School. We will now move to the first place awards. And I am hoping that all of these first place winners will be back with us next week to give a short presentation in our open house where everyone is invited to attend. And that way you can get a more detailed description of all the projects that are presented at this level. Uh, in the future, we will probably be having our open house after the award ceremony in person, in which case all of the students will be available to show off their projects. We are obviously a bit more limited uh, in terms of setting up uh, individual rooms where people can uh, attend. So we're currently limiting this to just the first place winners and the superior award winners of the junior division. And with that, let's get started. For the category of chemistry and materials, for the project Catalytic Ability of Titanium Dioxide Nanoparticles Functionalized on Silver Coated Ferric Oxide Microspheres, Kuiyang Zhao from the Princeton International School of Mathematics and Science. In the category of general engineering from the Princeton High School, Soda Mark Gota for Zircon, an affordable, powerful, and customizable educational soccer robot kit for beginners. In the category of plant science, a novel assay of quantitatively detect bacterial endotoxin by harnessing PAMP triggered immunity of FRK1 LUC something or other. Aravind Krishnan from Hillsborough High School. In the category of mathematics, physics, and astronomy, Sweet Mirage by Adam Ben Slama from Princeton High School. In the category of software and embedded systems, Jay Fu for predicting Alzheimer's disease, development and validation of machine learning models. In the category of environmental science and engineering, Charlotte Michela for innovative climate change emissions reduction, the cargo ship Flettner rotor centrifugal vortex exhaust scrubber. The category biochemistry, biology and medical from the Lawrenceville School, Satvik Dasharri Raju for detection and classification of immature leukocytes for diagnosis of acute melanoid leukemia. In the category of biochemistry, biology and medical for shape tunable plasmonic gold nanosensors for quantitative circulating tumor DNA screening by Lauren Zhang from the Lawrenceville School. Now, of all those first place winners, we are going to be choosing the grand prize the first runner-up and the second runner-up. 
the grand prize winner and the first runner up will be competing at the 2001 Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair. The grand prize receives a $400 award from the Mercer Science and Engineering Club. The first runner up receives a $200 award and the second runner up receives a $100 award. And with that, let's wrap things up. Our second runner up is Soda Mark Ogata for Zircon, an affordable, powerful, and customizable educational soccer robot kit for beginners. And let me let the last two people in that were in the waiting room that can now at least see the last end of the award ceremony. <clears throat> the first runner up is Aravind Krishnan for a novel assay of qualitatively detect bacterial endotoxin by harnessing PAMP triggered immunity of FRK1, LUC. And again, I'm not going to repeat it. For in the category of plant science from Hillsborough High School. And finally, our grand prize winner this year is Charlotte, Charlotte Michela for innovative climate change emission reduction, the cargo ship Flettner rotor centrifugal vortex exhaust scrubber. I'd like to congratulate all of the winners and thank everybody for attending the award ceremony the competition and I look forward to next week and hopefully you will all join us for the open house as well, where you can get more details on each of the projects that have been presented here. Thank you very much and have a nice day.